Hello, so I am Manish Kumar Gupta, working as a professor at Dhirubhai Ambani Institute of Information and Communication Technology. Uh, my training uh, is as a mathematician. I did PhD from IIT Kanpur in mathematics uh, back in year 2000. Since then, I have traveled across the world uh, in different countries. I have worked in different countries, USA, Canada, Singapore, South Korea, New Zealand, uh, you know, and uh, worked on different areas. So my key area is uh, uh, you know, elegant application of mathematics in emerging technologies. So let me describe to you one or two projects that we are we are doing. Especially one of the projects that we are working on is DNA storage. So we have where you can uh, use uh, DNA, synthetic DNA, for storing data, your common data, your PDF file, your doc file, or whatever Excel sheet, or even your Facebook memories. You know, so using our software DNA Cloud that we uh, we developed in in the year 2013. You can use that software to store your memories in Facebook. You know, so simply you download the software from guptalaborg slash cloud and <clears throat> you you know compile the, you run the software. Uh, you know, convert your files into the Excel sheet consisting of ACGT. Uh, you know, uh, the basic building block of DNA, and then you can send it, that uh, uh, file to any uh, biotech company, or if you want, you can uh, buy these machines. Uh, uh, for uh, synthesizer, you know, DNA synthesizer machine, and you can convert, you can get the physical DNA actually uh, in your test tube, you know, so all those data will be converted into uh, uh, DNA. And you, there are machines which can convert it back to, you know, the actual uh, uh, file, you know, so from DNA you can convert it back to the file. So these things are possible, and uh, uh, in fact, we have done uh, another uh, successful experiment uh, in collaboration with the National Center for Biological Sciences, uh, TIFR Bangalore. Uh, Professor, uh, Dr. Taslim Arif, uh, where we have stored data on bacteria and retrieved it successfully. That's another experiment that we have done. So apart from that, we have developed 14 different softwares. Uh, for example, one is in, uh, you know, all these softwares are in the area of DNA nanotechnology. So I can describe you a few of them. For example, uh, <coughs> one software is DNA pen. Using this software, you can write at the nanoscale using DNA, you know. So this is something uh, remarkable thing. Uh, we have extended the work of uh, Penguin from Harvard uh, uh, University. Uh, you know, we extended this software further uh, to what is known as 3DNA software, where you can create 3D structures uh, using DNA at the nano scale. And I'm thankful to my collaborator, uh, Dr. David Smith from Fraunhofer Institute of uh, Cell Therapy and Immunology at uh, uh, Fraunhofer, Germany. Uh, who has done the experiments, experimental validation of this software, so so that we, we make sure that whatever our software, whatever our software is doing, uh, we can actually make those things in the lab. You know, so uh, in fact, uh, I have an ongoing project uh, with uh, Dr. David Smith on uh, uh, DNA data storage uh, and bacterial data storage, especially. Uh, so we are working. Uh, so my student uh, and his team is working together uh, for this uh, software. Apart from that, uh, uh, you know, I have also interest in quantum computing because that's also one of the emerging technology. I have worked in quantum uh, computing uh, back in year, uh, uh, you know, 2002, 2001 and so on. And there I have, we have written a monograph on quantum matter correction. And uh, nowadays I am uh, more interested uh, in uh, quantum algorithms, especially quantum linear algebra and quantum differential equations. And uh, one of the uh, emerging technology uh, that I would say, as, as you know that these days machine learning is a buzzword, right? And of course, one of them, uh, the topmost uh, area in that is quantum machine learning. And so uh, we have, our group has uh, started work in this area in quantum machine learning, uh, especially for some uh, different business problems and some cryptographic applications uh, we have started work. We also have an uh, interesting software like biospectrogram where you can analyze uh, uh, biological signal like genomic uh, data and you can uh, say for example predict a protein if there is a protein in the genomic data using our software biospectrogram. So it does the spectral analysis of the, uh, of the biological data by first converting the biological data into numerical data and then applying some transformation to a study. For example in identifying the uh, protein you, you look at the power spectrum of the uh, data. You know, so those kind of things are there in the biospectrogram software. Uh, then uh, we have also a very interesting software known as uh, you know uh, DNA Image Pro. So you can do image processing using DNA. So given an image, you can convert into you know certain uh, DNA tiles, and those tiles can self-assemble to form the image. Uh, 
so you can do this simulation at our uh, with our software but of course you can do these things in the lab as well you know so okay, another aspect of a professor is teaching and i think i believe that teaching is also a very important aspect uh, you know apart from uh, doing research so while teaching uh, i try to bring research component in the courses and that has benefited me a lot you know especially uh, when i teach some uh, new courses you know i have i have taught many new courses in fact i have taught about almost 20 different types of courses till now in my career of 25 years and uh, some of the courses are like synthetic biology uh, you know which is a pretty new uh, course which i taught at dict twice and the registration was also very high you know uh, another course is dna computing or natural computing which i am teaching since last uh, 10 years you know it's also another interesting course uh, these courses are not uh, happening in the way we are teaching at DICT. You know, these are very, very interdisciplinary courses. You know, uh, our DNA storage project was uh, shortlisted uh, at iCreate uh, for the demonstration to the Prime Minister of India and Prime Minister of Israel uh, back in 2018. Uh, and uh, this was uh, one of the top five innovations uh, in the country. And uh, uh, certainly, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of a scope and as you know that in this DNA storage area, there are nine startups already working and my hope in India, we can we can have some startups in this uh, this area, you know, who can uh, really create a, you know, uh, company out of this niche technology. Uh, as uh, in fact, uh, I should mention that uh, Microsoft has already given a prototype of $10,000, uh, the first uh, prototype they have created uh, for, for DNA storage. This uh, mm, this message, I would like to thank uh, all my uh, former students and the current students who have given me uh, a lot of uh, opportunities of uh, you know collaborations, uh, interactions with them, and we have done wonderful thing. You know, uh, yeah, in fact, uh, uh, my uh, PhD student Dikshita has done a lot of good work, and uh, uh, Krishna Gopal Banerjee has done a lot of good work. Uh, in fact, Dikshita thesis was, uh, you know, the, one of the best thesis uh, at ISC Bangalore, SPCOM 20, uh, 2018, you know. So that was selected as one of the best thesis uh, in DNA storage area. Uh, and uh, I'm also uh, thankful to the community of DICT uh, for providing a rich environment. Uh, and especially I like what I like about DICT is the interdisciplinary nature, you know. So they, there are no boundaries. This kind of synergy is possible at DICT where you can actually, you know, uh, you know, go to different uh, areas and work with them, uh, different, work with different colleagues.